What's up, guys? You're here at Rob Squad Reactions on Female Friday with your girl Amber. And your boy Jay. It's also Film Friday on Rob Squad Movie Reactions. Make sure you guys go check that out because we're dropping Die Hard today. And oh my goodness, it was such a good movie. So go check that out. On Female Friday, you guys send me suggestions. I pick from those. We surprise Jay here on the channel. This is a gift for moi because it is my favorite female vocalist of all time. Do you know who that is? Please tell me you know who that is. They know who well, that is. Well, I mean... I'm going to say Janice, and if not Janice, Dolores O'Reilly. Oh, those are perfect, but today we're listening to Janice. We are listening to I know, a song. I know it was one of the two, but I, I had a feeling it was probably Janice. Right, so we've listened to so much Janice, and my heart just really needed some more. We're actually checking one out that was written by the Bee Gees today, but... Let's go! I know, I but, knock out, give me some dap on that. You but, can knock out two and one. Right, her voice, Bee Gees writing. Let's see how it goes. But before we get started, guys, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on that post notification bell so you never miss out on anything we've got coming. If you want to pull it up, I'll tell you and, what we're listening to. Go ahead. We are listening to To Love Somebody. And I don't care what all y'all BG haters, BG has wrote some of the best darn music. Don't, I don't do not get in the comments to talk about the BGs. Say. BGs. They are pure gold in singing, performing, writing. But it's been a while since we've got some Jada, so I, I'm, I I'm actually really happy to get I, back I, to this. I'm so, I heard Ball and Chain the other day. It came up, and I was like, wait a minute. Ball and Chain. Crybaby. Oh, Crybaby's my favorite. Crybaby's, Crybaby's my, my favorite. Because she belts so many times. For sure. In that one. But enough talking. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell. Janice Joplin to love somebody. Give me some slow, Janice. Guys, mm -hmm. perfect suggestion. I mean, obviously, you know, she loves Janice. I, I love Janice, but obviously not as much as mom does, but has our favorite things. The freaking bass guitar. I oh, know you were going to say bass before the horn, horns. The horns yeah. in it, but the placement of the horns, especially like the last 20, mm. 25 seconds, yeah. kind of in and out with her, with her, kind of her lyrics in between. Yeah. The bluesy jazzness of it. I, I love it. I you love said, it. You said everything I was feeling. I love how it's bluesy and jazzy. I lo love that it slowed down because getting to like really sit and sink into Janis Joplin's voice is probably one of the greatest gifts on earth. And we got we really get to do that here in the song. And I've said it before, I think I think horns are one of the best instruments to pair with Janis Joplin's voice because you have to be able to match that. And there's not many instruments that I feel like out there could really match the oomph. That is Janis Joplin. No doubt about it. And, you know, if you really dive in and listen to the lyrics, man, Bee Gees hit it with this. <laughs> Bee Gees, uh, like, like, perfect lyric setup, and um, I don't really know the right term for it, but, you know, where you place the lyrics in kind of tune with the music is perfect for Janis's yeah, voice. Because, sure. like, especially the way this song she's singing, it's low, it's mellow. It's I like it. I this, it. This, this may be bumped up by the end of it. To one of my top three Janice songs, just because it's a vi it's it's whiskey music. It's, it's a vibe. Janice Joplin is whiskey music, but Janice Joplin to me is also like 
human expression like she she's feeling when she sings it's just it's just feeling that exudes it just comes out it's awesome port arthur texas y'all stand up <laughs> stand <legend>, up <laughs> be so blind honey like I did I know I was blind and I tell you that I was I was very very blind oh but I'm just a girl can't you just take a look at me and tell tell that I live honey I live and I breathe for you <laughs> don't you know I do but what good really great about this she's making my chair sing <laughs> what i think about really that's fantastic about this song is like she's singing about like that passionate uninhibited part of love, love. and yeah. she has that exact voice passionate and uninhibited think of the songs we listen to her sing me and bobby B mcgee cry baby uh tom jones raise the, your hand the one with tom you know jones. what i mean she's so uninhibited just so all there so in the moment and that's the type of love mm. she's singing about so i like i think this is a perfect person to sing the song no doubt about it and you know for the reasons you love janice is to me the same reasons i love any winehouse and, and, but, and, yes and when i think about this song the only other person I could ever imagine singing, singing this would be Amy Winehouse. I, like, I completely 1,000% like, agree. But I think... It, it, it's, it's the rawness in her voice, and to me, you know, we both of them didn't come from the greatest places. It's the vulnerability in their yeah, voices. Yeah, it's 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 because it's it feels authentic, the feeling they're expressing. And I it's don't... It's so funny you, you were thinking this. Yeah, but I also, I think, I think I'm thinking that because we got a book called Women of Rock, and I'm pretty sure I read that one of Amy Winehouse's influences was Janis Joplin, and that would make so much sense. But don't, don't... Take that as a fact. I definitely, it's been a while since I read the book. No, I mean, I could definitely yeah. see it, but the voices, just the, the rawness, mm -hmm. the, the them being just true to themselves and not giving a darn, never Amazing. switching up. Love it. But this song, man, this song has got your boy feeling it. It's going on my whiskey playlist. <laughs> Y'all better believe that. Believe it. And I think I can. Oh, but what good? What good? Honey, what ugly good can I
That yeah. took it. Y'all, that took that took number one spot for Janice's songs for me. That was absolutely amazing. Say it again. It's my new favorite Janis Joplin song. Guys, I just adore Janis Joplin. And honestly, every single time we finish with a new song you guys have suggested to us, I get sad because I feel like her voice is such a treat. It's such a pleasure. It's something I really, it just, it hits me so close to my heart. There's something about her that I like feel so connected to. But then when it's over, I'm like, oh, you know, I just wanted to keep going. I love her voice. I just want more and more and more I just, Janis music. I wonder what she would sound like today. Like if she, or, 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 she would have changed the whole industry. Oh they would goodness. not be the same if Janice was around. I'm telling you. We say it all the time. You know, you guys that got to grow up in these decades that we listen to, y'all, y'all, y'all had the best, the best of the world, man, because we don't get that now. We have to live, you know, through you guys, through your we stories. We are literally uh, you know, living vicariously through know. them. We're living through these videos. So we just want to tell you, y'all are some lucky dogs. But thank y'all so much for the Janice suggestion. Good pick, Mom. But as we always send y'all out of here, we love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. And remember, every single day that you wake up, it is a blessing and that you are blessed. And for your new family members to hit that subscribe button, we welcome y'all to the RSR family. But y'all have a goal every day, just like we do. Let them know. You got to make somebody smile. We love you guys, and we'll see y'all later.